So uh, really nice to meet you all. Uh, my name's Paul Barnes. I'm the ACORN community organiser for Birmingham branch of ACORN. Um, currently we cover, um, while well, we do, our membership covers Birmingham, also parts of Wolverhampton, and we've got membership out in Walsall as well and Solihull. So even though we're specifically a Birmingham branch, our membership does sort of reach a little bit further out. Um, we are quite a new union. I'm not sure if any of you have heard us before. ACORN really only came to the UK in about 2014 and I came specifically with approach around sort of community organising and community unionism. Um, obviously during the first years of kind of testing it out in the UK, going around knocking on doors, uh, what became really clear, that is an adorable dog I've got to say. Um, <laughs> Um, but yeah, what became really clear was one of the major issues that was like of massive importance to communities across England was a housing crisis, a housing crisis that extends deep in terms of young people in private accommodation, uh, in terms of people trying to get onto the property ladder and not being able to, but also right into issues within council housing, housing association properties, which again goes deep into the heart of uh, budget cuts, austerity, and also sort of outsourcing and poor cultural practices within the housing industry. Um, what we really do in ACORN though is beyond just housing, what we also do is kind of community-based campaigns, primarily focusing on developing members um, to become leaders and giving them as much training as possible to kind of take on issues that matter to them. That means we, not just, we don't just fight housing issues, we have four issues and larger, bigger campaigns across many cities across um, all of England. So, for example, I know Bristol branch of ACOM, which was the first branch that was founded, have a few thousand members and they fought um, to keep the uh, council tax deduction scheme in uh, Bristol City Council. It's one of the only sitting councils in the entire country still to have the council, council tax deduction scheme which means that working class residents save their money on their council tax, whereas people we're slightly better off pay more money. Um, we run uh, big campaigns on bus licensing, which were basically is a form of trying to mun municipalise bus services. Uh, we run that in Manchester and Sheffield after years of campaigns. And really our focus is using direct action and community power to kind of get what's necessary and what's ours. Um, we operate sort of like a union, but um, yeah, try and keep things quite active, quite engaging. In terms of like stuff we've been fighting on in, in Birmingham, we primarily have been focused on the housing issues um, in both the private in private accommodation and the council properties. Like recently, since I became a staff member maybe four months ago, I've primarily been working in the area of Neachels and Newtown, where we've been working in um, tower blocks mainly, dealing with chronic issues and disrepair. Um, and one of the major things we're coming across there and potentially a longer campaign will it be against the um, council contractor Waits, who they're uh, yeah, chronically underserving. Um, I'm not sure who, whoever your contractor is in Wolverhampton. Um, in terms of what we're, why I'm here today, um, obviously I'm here to speak about our union for people to get to know a, bit, a little bit about us. Um, I'm really happy to have uh, Zahid and Graham who actually came over to our most recent eviction resistance. Uh, massive solidarity for you both for turning up and yeah, both be pleased to know that um, Adrian's still in his house and we're still fighting for him to get on and um, to get rehoused properly as well and um, so yeah thank you so much for coming down. Uh, in terms of why we're here today um, yeah we are also looking oh, thank you Zahid yeah we're, we're really looking to also ask people for some support and support across the wider trade union movement because we're currently undergoing a bit of lawfare um, as you can imagine, any union that uses direct action tactics against the powerful um, in ways that kind of skirt around trade union legislation um, are vulnerable to legal attacks. And actually, we've, uh, we've been annoying probably the right people. But obviously, that comes at a cost. One of the things we've been going through at the moment, unfortunately, um, our legal uh, insurance provider in ACON dropped us after we received quite a, rather a, a, a hefty um, legal uh, challenge in which they're trying to uh, sue us for a GDPR breach as well as a number of other issue, um, things which we assert are untrue. 
but ultimately these large landlords are really just doing that so they drag us through court so they have, we have to spend lots of money on lawyers our estimated lawyer bill on just one of those cases about 50 grand um so as a small and yeah a small and upcoming union we don't have like the massive funds to take on um such massive costs basically and we're looking to kind of reach out to other to solid to get some solidarity from trade unions across the whole of the uk to help us through this basically this bit um currently yeah i, I say we've got one particular um case against us which is costing us serious money but we have like threats of legal actions and legal issues literally every day um yeah whether it's defamation of character whether it's anything to do with um we've had, even had some of our members arrested previously for simply just putting like warning tape on an estate agents who, who'd been uh, for, who'd been kicking out a single mum who'd had rats in the house we went to the estate agents did a direct action in which we confronted the estate agents demanded that they um, deal with the issues of the rats, delay the eviction and provide some um, compensation for the, the, uh, the lady who'd been going through this problem. Um, and obviously they kind of went through and uh, tried to charge a number of our mem members with, um, I forgot what the particular one was that for that one, um, damage to property or something, but obviously it was just, just a bit of tape. Um, so I think this should really, yeah. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, the main the main sort of pitch today really is kind of reaching out to people um, to ask if people could share back within their branches our model notion um, to see if their local branches would potentially be able to pass just as, however much the branch could pass on and um, to support us through this uh, legal challenge. I think there might be a little bit of a confusion and certainly I was, I didn't realise it when um, I first come across the organisation, this use of the term union. Um, to understand, you're not calling yourselves a trade union in your community union. And there is perhaps a difference there that needs to be made a little bit clear in some circumstances. Uh, I say this because as regards trade union councils, um, not had this issue in Wolverhampton before, but certainly there's been issues in Birmingham and I've taken it up nationally um, with affiliations from non-TUC trade unions such as the IWW who attempted to, to affiliate uh, and not allowed to because you're not affiliated to the TUC and no April wouldn't be affiliated to the TUC but then again, you are not, I believe, representing workers in in workplaces or attempting to do that even the role of ACOM. So perhaps maybe when you're explaining in the future also perhaps try and make that distinction as well because that would affect perhaps the fault from some of the trade unions. Um, I mean I, I presume I'm correct in my assumptions you seem to know. Yeah. Um, so we don't necessarily deal with like trade union issues. We don't represent workers on industrial disputes necessarily. Um, we have in the past previously run support for other trade unions undergoing struggles. Um, we have supported, for example, the Bakes and Allard Food Workers Union, um, who were supporting, um, I believe this was in Brighton, supporting uh, a number of workers in uh, hospitality who would basically not receive pay. Um, so we did have done previous support actions, but y you are right. Yeah, we aren't necessarily a direct trade union. We don't look to unionize people in workplaces. What we really look to do is form community power um, and use the principle of unionism in the fight for what is necessary and what's needed for our communities. So say, for example, um, the cases we've had of late have primarily been yeah, issues around housing. Um, we fought quite a large campaign last year um, for a number of young people over in Birmingham who had like a really horrific like kind of rat infestation in their property that kind of went on for about five or six months. The landlord had said they weren't going to really do anything about it. Um, the students were obviously really frustrated that nothing really happened. We ended up doing a campaign against that landlord and that estate agent, eventually winning back those um, tenants about five thousand pounds worth of rent repaid to them um 
more recently we've been doing a lot of campaigns for residents and tenants in um, yeah, council properties, obviously undergoing a lot of issues with um, yeah, lack of works or works not being completed in time. Um, so we've been kind of running that against um, yeah, primarily people in tower blocks. So for example, our member Ziao, we finished a campaign for the other week who had had leaks into a property. The council hadn't fixed the roof. They'd fixed the leak, but not fixed the roof. There was like lots of plaster peeling in from the ceiling, although the bath was falling apart because it was effectively made of like cheap MDF that had soaked. Um, and they'd not fixed any of those issues for about 18 months. What we really try and do in those scenarios is use kind of a different tactics directly confronting the person in power to get what we want. So in that particular instance, we went to her estate management board with 10 or 12 other union members, delivered a letter of demand, held a protest outside their office and um, insisted there would be you know, continued union action until we obviously got the result that we needed and that Xiao needed for her property to make her, her family safe. Um, and we managed to win that case in around a week after a number of different kind of like tactics and actions. Um, so yeah, what we really try and do is, um, what, one of the things I would say is quite unique to um, ACORN is like how we work. We really do try and build up our members to take part of action and to become part of the leadership within the union. Um, I always, whenever we take part of a case, it's always members taking part in writing their demands letters, learning how to build the strategies required, planning their strategies over timelines, um, using uh, action planning checklists. Really one of the main sort of missions I see ACORN really as is a way to teach people about unionism, but just in the community. 